some of us spend weekends on banks with an assortment of tackle trying to outsmart fish. But when you're not fishing, there's nowhere else to be rather than in a tackle shop looking at more shiny gear and inventing new creative ways to outsmart said critters. Especially when the shop just happens to have landed an expert for you to fire questions at, and Tackle Up in Fleet did exactly that with our very own Predator Pro, Ant Glasgow. I've been brought down here today to do a demo on predator fishing, where I'll be giving customers the choice of seeing me working lures on the local pond. I'm going to be showing, showing them various tips, hints, methods, drop shot fishing, low fishing, jerkbait fishing, anything that's involved in predator fishing. So these sort of days are really important for big tackle companies. Now I'm here today representing Savage Gear and I travel all around the UK doing these shows. And today I'm going to be uh, running people through something really simple like mounting a jig head on a shad. You know, stuff that you can see on the internet but you need to see it there and then. You need to see how these products work and it's great that you can do one-on-ones with people. I heard about it through the tackle shop and online and what have you and then uh, thought it'd pop up. See the man in person. Did you just come down here to admire his beard? Yeah, it's just the beard, really. Just the facial hair. <laughs> Our Pied Piker of Manchester is a firm believer that the products speak for themselves and to show them at their best, what better way than to go and throth up the local pond, picking up more beards along the way. Okay, so I'm here with a really good mate, mate of mine, another bearded burbler, Neil Waite, and uh, we're discussing tactics and soft baits and lures. So what do you reckon? Neil's reckon this for Perch today? I think so. I mean, you've brought along all your Savage gear. Yeah, uh, yeah. And I've brought my collection of Eco gear along as well. Yeah, I've yeah. got some of the light rock fishing stuff as well. Yeah, yeah. Maybe for the little Perch, maybe the little Jacks. But we'll have a go. I've got a variety of jig heads that we do as well. And we'll just see what comes along and give the guys from the shop a different perspective on the lures fishing. Definitely, mate. OK, so let's rock and roll. I'm going to target the pike. I mean, this little mini deviator was, was red hot this time last year. Uh, Matt, what are you going to do? Today I'm going to target perch. I just want to see a big stripey. Tiny little rod for a tiny little man. Ooh. It's January, blue skies, warm sunshine and a flat calm surface. I remember winter piking being, well, more wintry. One million fans squashed onto one platform simultaneously firing out lures seems a little excessive and unlikely to produce a fish. But it has! Though I would guess that it was more out of self-defence from the pike's point of view. The already low sun is sinking lower and we have to move on to another venue. This one, although pretty, is one of Tackle Up Pete's secret spots. But it hasn't even produced a follow. So as the day draws to an end, we march on the canal for the last dying minutes of light. Pete has spotted some baitfish movement on the surface, and his keen eyes and watercraft has rewarded him with this happy jack, which has made a happy Pete. Ant, being very thoughtful and extremely well-mannered, makes sure that his guests have had a good time first and then shows them how it's done. Oh, he's got him. I've got him. Yeah, I've got him. <laughs> well, mate. I was walking past this, Pete spotted the prey fish getting hammered under the, um, in the dark parts there on the opposite side of the canal. And uh, Pete's first cast, boom, he had a fish. My first cast, bang, it was on, come off. Second cast, boom, fish. I love me, I love me freshwater fishing, but pollock fishing grabs me by the pollocks. 